everyone, this is Cindy with Mimi's Treasure Cottage, and I'm here with a haul. This haul is from uh, two rummage sales that I went to this past weekend. And um, it was interesting, the first one I got there probably 15 to 20 minutes before the rummage sale opened, and there were probably 30 or more people in line already. And I am not one of those people that get in line. It's funny, I've mentioned this before to uh, people that run the sales that I don't do that. And they said, oh, well, you miss all the best things. And my reply is that, well, if I'm not there, I don't know I've missed them. Um, but at any rate, I digress. So you you can leave me your comments what you think about that. So at any rate, so I was at this sale and uh, when I by the time I finally got in, there really wasn't a whole lot. I don't know if there was stuff that people just grabbed ahead of me. I don't know. I did not think there was that much stuff. Um, I got this Scrabble game, namely because as an artist, I always use, I get them for the letters and whatever that I can use in my artwork. And um, $2 wasn't too bad for that. This one I got principally because, principally, I don't know if that's the proper word to use there, primarily, I don't know. Um, at any rate, because my nephew enjoyed at one time collecting um, chess games. And I don't know if this is one that he would like or if he has any need for any more or whatever. I did kind of look these up online, I believe. And I think I discovered that these may be um, like a $30 chess game that I paid, what did I say, $2 for? Uh, yeah, but at any rate, so I picked it up for that reason. If he doesn't want it, I'll go ahead and sell it at the um, flea market. And then the last thing I got at that first rummage sale was this. I have to look in my viewfinder. You could see that all along. <laughs> it's this scale. And um, it's funny, when I was checking out, the ladies were like, oh, that was a nice find. And they paid $4 for it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Was it worth $4? Is it worth more? Um, this is probably a device that I'm going to hang on to for myself. Um, because I think it's kind of neat, but who knows? I haven't looked it up or anything yet. So that was at the first rummage sale. The second rummage sale was around the corner, probably five to eight minutes away from the first one. And I think they had much more there than the first one. Um, <laughs> I was a little disappointed, though, in one respect, because I went over and there was a whole thing of these shiny bright ornaments, several boxes of them, and there was a woman in there going through, and she was taking all the ones with the little indentations in them. I don't know what they're called, but I know they're valuable, and um, so I was like, ah, early bird gets the worm there. I missed that. Um, yeah, I almost lost that. But anyways, I did pick up these two. I thought these were kind of cool. I don't know just how old they are. She left them behind, but I like them. I think they're neat. They look very vintage to me. And, um, so I picked those up. Plus I grabbed the shiny bright box because I don't know, I feel like that could come in handy someday. Somebody might actually want that. Then I, um, let's move some stuff out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. I went over to the linens table, and uh, I am a sucker for everything um, St. Patrick's Day, so I grabbed that. And then they had these um, handkerchiefs, and I started going through them, like opening them up and going through them, and then I realized that was really silly because I might as well just take them all. I had a busy day ahead of me, and I'm sure they weren't that pricey, and, and I'm right. Um, in the end, everything that I bought at the second estate sale was six dollars. Um, everything I bought at the first estate sale, you actually saw the stickers on, and that was um, eight dollars. So all, all this stuff didn't cost me very much money at all. So there's um, that hanky. There's this hanky. Let me not take time to open them all up here for you. Um, there's this one. Let me just show them. <clears throat> closed, folded. Didn't take time to clean or wash or press or do anything like that. There's that one. There's this one. I did briefly go through them to try to see if any of them were signed. I do not believe I have any of those kind. Um, this one here says mother on it. It's upside down, but it does. 
And here's this one. Has a nice little um, scalloped edge on it. Pretty purple one. This one's plain but with a purple edging. And I think that's tatting. This one I was real happy to get. I'll show you. Because as I said, I am a sucker for all things St. Patrick's Day. So I was happy to find that. That was like my find there. Um, then I got this one. <coughs> Excuse me. I think there's some dust floating around. And then this white work one. And then this one, which I probably would not have grabbed. I don't know why. It's just not my favorite kind of thing. Let me know if I'm passing on good stuff here, but I don't typically get these ones. Um, but again, because I knew it was going to be really cheap, I grabbed it. Then at the 25 cent table, I grabbed a whole bunch of fans. Don't know if I'm going to just sell them off. Probably will, or keep them to put in artwork. There's my hand. Um, she said that all of these were from Spain, which doesn't surprise me. I actually lived in Spain for a period of time, and um, the fans were very, very popular there. This one actually says where it was from, Casa de Diego. And this is pretty. I wish I had this skill of just flipping it open. They do all flip open nicely, but it's very hard to do one-handed. So there's this one. One of these is really weird to open, and I'm not sure I'm going to be able to open it on camera, and I actually forgot about that until I started showing you. So we'll see. Um, there's this one. This one is also from Casa de Diego. And then this is the one that's weird to open. It closes this way, kind of sideways, with the things that go all the way up here. They had to do it for me. I don't know if I'm going to get it open, am I? Let's see if I use my... Ah, I did it! Yay! Alright, this one's very pretty with the gilding on it. Right? Isn't that pretty? So I got those. those. Oh, it's pretty on the back, too. Those fans were all a quarter piece. And then also at the quarter table, well, I don't know that it was all a quarter because I actually think I paid 50 cents for this next item. I like the little animals on leashes. I probably really didn't pay much attention to them until I started watching Real Nifty Vintage with um, Jeffrey. Um, so I saw these little Scotty dogs and I thought they were cute. They are not ceramic. You don't know how old they are. They're more like a resin, maybe a wood. But I thought they were cute. So I grabbed those. I think those were 50 cents. Then I grabbed these little plates. They're tiny. I'm drawn to tiny. From Portugal. There, that's that little guy. And here's another one. This was really pretty. This was originally $12 from some tea room somewhere. But I thought that was really pretty. It's not old, obviously. It has a um, barcode on the back. At least I don't think it is. Then this, there's a story behind this. These were all in a box that said free. Take one. So I couldn't... I have to sit down. <clears throat> I couldn't make up my mind on them. So I asked her, would it be okay to take the box? And they didn't like that idea, so I said, well, can I show them? I said, well, can I buy the box? I don't have to think. Haven't done it yet, but I think that these are nice pieces for um, including in jewelry. Um, cutting off the backs and including. I could be wrong. I don't know. Maybe I probably was stupid. Maybe it was a better deal if they were free, but not if I had to pay for them. Is that showing up? I don't have my glasses on, so it's hard for me to tell. It says, no bones about it. Well, that's different. Um. Anyway, so a whole bunch of these little, uh, most of them are little religious things. This is a church rummage sale. 
and little praying hands. But I just thought, yeah, so I paid a dollar for free stuff. <laughs> but it was going to a good cause, you know, it was a donation to a good cause. So, you know, I'm not terribly upset about that. There we go. Another one of those. Sorry, I'm getting kind of out of the corner of the little fish thing. And then there's that. So that's what I got there. Like I said, I spent at that second sale, I spent $6 and I spent $8 at the first rummage sale. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe for more uh, haul video content. And from time to time, I may try to do a ride along video. We'll see. Um, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment on what you thought about the things I picked up today and what you would have um, picked up or whether or not there's any value in these things. All right, you guys, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you again soon.